What's going on? I'm back. This is your video for Bald and the Beautiful for October 7, 2015. And basically, this um, it's getting gooder. Like I said, when they were doing the previews that the Bald and the Beautiful, the Younger the Rest was going to get good, I was suspicious of it because you know how they do these shit before saying that it's going to be good and you can't miss and it don't turn out to be good. But I'm impressed about it the beautiful. Y'all did that. So Caroline told Ridge that she slept with his son, that she slept with his, yeah, his son, Thomas, that Thomas is the father. So now she know, so now Ridge know Thomas slept with Caroline and he was trying, you know, to convince, he was trying to, um, he was trying to say he took advantage of her, which she did. Which he did and he didn't. I really don't care. But, Ridge, you finally stepped up and did the right fucking thing. Congratulations, Ridge. You finally did something right. Besides dumping her and throwing her to the side, which any other other man would do, you decide you want to raise Thomas Child as your own. And I'm proud of you. Because the way Thomas going, look like he going to be a little mini-me of you, Ridge. And for you to be the father figure, the father figure for this son, I really hope it does you a lot of good. And you find some perspective in life. And you learn how to be a parent this time around. Besides a shitty-ass parent. And so they get in the office, and Tom is there. So Ridge and Tom is talking. Ridge, I mean, Tom is trying to apologize. Ridge ain't. Ha oh. Ridge not having none of that bullshit. So Ridge basically trying to do everything. I guess not to kill his son or whatnot. But Ridge wasn't having none of that shit. He wasn't. Well, basically, y'all both to blame for this situation. Ridge, you to blame because you wasn't there in that boy alive. So, about this much of the time, run between Brooke and Taylor. He holding that grudge against you for that. You holding the grudge because he slept with your wife. And now she pregnant because she can't get pregnant by you. So, basically, y'all need to get, get like Tom was saying. Y'all basically need to get y'all shit together and work this out somehow. If y'all got to go talk to somebody, y'all sit down and have a nice civilized um, conversation when y'all heads cools down or whatever. But yeah, um, Ridge wasn't having none of that. And Ivy, what the fuck did I tell you about begging for your goddamn job at? Now you done ran to Eric asking him for your damn job yet, not knowing that he don't know all the, the don't know all the facts of the case. So now you got Eric involved in this bullshit about this type got this um video of Steffi hit busting um Ivy across the head. So now Eric involved and he was trying to talk to you. And Steffi like Eric said, I 100% agree with fucking Eric all the way through this shit. You can work with that girl like he said. Y'all can find a way to come past this y'all family. Steffi, yeah, she might have blackmailed your ass or whatnot, but she deleted the video, though. She didn't take it to no cops. She didn't get arrested, so no harm, no foul. Why you can't work with that girl? Or you just want to be a bitch for the rest of your life. And for you to try to sit there and hold on to that damn shit. But Steffi did a whole 260 on um, Ivy ass. She ain't want to let it slip that she was blackmailing her ass with Ivy Death in that video. So now Steffi then blabbed on her ass <laughs> thinking Eric gonna take her side. Eric said no. And and Steffi, Eric was right. You should have told the police the fucking truth. Like he said, why you ain't tell the police you said I why why you ain't tell the police the truth? Don't lie. You on the line at making it bigger. And you open the door for Albert to blackmail your dumb ass by lying, not once, but twice. And then you lied the third time that Thomas got it out your ass. So you basically you lied three fucking times. And Thomas Hoff somehow talked your And so Thomas somehow talked it out your dumb man. So now, now that the evidence is out there, and Ivy back on the job again. So yeah, Ivy's back in Forrester. And Liam trying to tell, I get. 
Liam, sit down somewhere. That's all I'm going to say about you. You too, queen. And Ivy, that was really messed up. You to go to Eric trying to get your job back. Like, I know you love Forest Creation and you want to work there. But you didn't have to do all that. I understand why you did it. But you didn't really have to do all that, though, really. You really didn't have to. When stepping get your job back, you did have left that shit alone. But you decided to go farther. So now you back now and watch Steffi somehow, somewhere, make your life a living hell now that you're back at Forrester. Even though she don't want your ass back there. But since you want to be back to Forrester, guess what? Steffi is going to make your life a living hell and I hope you're ready for it. And Liam and Wyatt was up there talking, I guess, about the Ivy situation. I don't know what the fuck they were talking about. When they showed them, I fast forward. I don't care about them. And Liam, what Liam Punk has got to say. But yeah, that's about it. I want to just touch on this uh, episode a little bit or what not, what have you. The ball and the beautiful, you're doing good. I like you. You're going to keep me around. But yeah, that's that all I got for y'all today. Like, share, comment, subscribe to all my social media platforms. Um, Like this video, share it. And I'll see you later. Bye.